Hello folks, my name is Jenner from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one has to do with Ted Cruz and Republicans who toured the border and border facilities today. So let's get right into it. And it says, this is a humanitarian crisis. Republican senators, including Ted Cruz and John Cornyn, toured detention facilities in the Rio Grande Valley. Republican senators toured the Rio Grande Valley they say it's overwhelming. Democrats say it's a problem dating back decades and demand immigration reform. So those are the two sides. One side is saying this is a crisis. The other one says, oh, it's been going on for a very long time, even though the last three years under Trump, border detention went down, border crossings went down, and countries like Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras took back their deportees compared to under the Obama time, where Obama would deport people and these countries will say, well, we don't want them. You better send them somewhere else or keep them there because we do not want them. Under Trump, that did not happen. So what the Democrats are saying is false. It says a delegation of Republican U.S. senators were in the Rio Grande Valley to tour the detention facilities and to ride along with Border Patrol agents. Some of the senators, including Senator Ted Cruz, released pictures showing the crowded facilities where children are being held. And Ted Cruz said, we saw cages after cages with little girls and little boys lying side by side. So let me show you guys the pictures that Senator Ted Cruz are talking about now. This is the first picture that he released. Now, this picture is different than the other ones. Why? Because this one is of teens and kids that are COVID positive. These kids have coronavirus. And as you guys can see, they're all close together and they're putting them in what seems to be like a, I don't know, it, it looks to me like a playground of some sort. It doesn't, it, uh, Ted Cruz doesn't elaborate what type of, 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 you know, facility, I mean, what type of cage this is. It's a cage nonetheless, but Ted Cruz doesn't really say what kind of cage it is. But what he does say is that these kids are COVID positive. Now, the next picture that he showed is this one. He talked about this one at the press conference that he did after touring and riding along with Border Patrol. If you guys missed it, we have it uploaded onto the channel. I'll pin it to the top of the comments below. But as you guys can see, these are toddlers. Some of them between the ages of two and six years old. And they are laying on plastic mats with those foil sheets that they give everyone else. And they're in like these playpen looking things. And uh, these are at the Donna facility in Texas. So once again, we have kids that are COVID positive that you just saw right now. And then we also have these kids in these uh, little play pins because they are toddlers, folks, toddlers in play pins. We also, uh, Ted Cruz also released this picture. And as you guys can see, there is absolutely no six feet apart. There is no uh, PPE. There's nothing. They have sandwiched in all of these minors in these, what the, the Biden administration are calling pods, but in reality, they're cages. Cages that are recycled from the Obama administration along with these foil, uh, foil sheets that are also recycled from the Biden administration. Now, from the uh, Obama administration, yesterday, we released a report where a Democrat, uh, a Democrat lawmaker from the House released pictures to Axios a week ago, similar pictures to what you see right now. And he was the same guy that released the pictures under Obama in the same conditions, or probably even worse. But this is what's going on right now at, the, at these facilities in Texas. So... This is another picture that Ted Cruz released of these kids. That child in front has to be at least, I'm going to say four, maybe even five years old. And they're stuck in these facilities that are cramped together. Look at this. 
some of these pods, some of these facilities, as Senator John Cornyn said, are supposed to be housing under COVID rules 250 kids or people. But in reality, there's thousands of them. Under non-COVID uh, restrictions, these facilities can house up to a thousand detainees. But there's 4,000, 4,000 at the Donna facility itself. These pods or these cages, pods, cages, whatever you want to call them, are supposed to house between 15 and 25 detainees. In this one alone, there is probably 50 of them, if not more than 50 of them, in one pod alone, in one cage alone. They're all cramped together. Look at this. That is something else that, um, th these are other things that Ted Cruz has put up, um, how they catch a bunch of meth coming through the border, which now is completely open because of Biden, and how they hide drugs, including methamphetamines and, and others, into these hollowed out two by four and four by four uh, pieces of wood. As you guys can see here, there's total seizures. Now, this is very, very interesting. So as Ted Cruz and Republicans were touring and going on night patrol with Border Patrol, they saw what Biden has been doing. What they have been doing is that they have been putting these signs near the Rio Grande Valley, telling these illegal migrants, illegal aliens, where to go. They are basically giving them a roadmap of saying, if you go this way, maybe Border Patrol isn't there, you can cross through. So they are putting down these, these arrows, guiding these illegal alien smugglers and coyotes where to send the people through. Where Border Patrol is not patrolling as much or where they can easily go to cross the border. This is what they're doing, folks. This is what the, Ob the, uh, the Biden administration is doing. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the Obama administration did the exact same thing. Now, here is a video see the, with see Senator the, uh, Ted Cruz and other Republicans. Yeah, this next this meeting, you can see there's three smugglers right there standing on the Mexican side, looking at us. They've been shining their flashlights at us. They're yelling at us. A delegation of Republican U.S. Senators is in the Rio Grande Valley. See the, see the uh, shoreline right over there. Yeah, that's Mexico. And you can see there's three smugglers right there standing on the Mexican side, looking at us. They've been shining their flashlights at us. They're yelling at us. So as Senator Ted Cruz said, there are smugglers on the other side. You can see the shoreline between Mexico and the United States that is divided by the Rio Grande. And the smugglers on the other side are flashing the lights at Border Patrol and at these senators, just insulting them and, you know, just taunting them and all that other stuff. Now, Ted Cruz talked a lot more about this at the press briefing or at the press conference that he did earlier today. Again, if you guys missed that press conference, it should be pinned to the very top of the comments. Um, over 18 senators spoke and they each gave their own recollection of what they saw, what they saw at the facilities, what they saw while touring and uh, patrolling with Border Patrol. So if, again, if you guys missed it, make sure you guys go and check it out. Here's another video of Ted Cruz. So it's past midnight. I'm standing on the shore of the Rio Grande. The water is right behind me. I'm down on the Texas border, along with 18 senators. We made the trip to see the crisis that is playing out. We've already gone to detention facilities that are overrun, many of them with families, small children. We saw multiple mothers who were nursing infant babies who had just crossed over and were being housed in outdoor holding pens where they were sleeping on the floor and nursing their babies. We're at the edge of the river. On the other side of the river is Mexico. On the other side of the river, we have been listening to and seeing cartel members, human traffickers, right on the other side of the river, waving flashlights, yelling and taunting Americans, taunting the Border Patrol, because they know that under the current policy of the Biden administration, they can flood over here, they're getting paid, four or five thousand dollars a person 
to smuggle them into this country and our policies when they smuggle them in, the Biden administration releases them and more and more and more. Last month, 100,000 people came across the border illegally. We've got 15,000 kids in federal government custody. This is a humanitarian crisis. It's a public health crisis. The illegal immigrants who are being released, they're testing positive for COVID-19 at a seven times higher rate than the American population. And it's a national security crisis. And it's time for the Biden administration to put an end to it and stop sanctioning lawless chaos on our southern border. All right, folks. So as you guys heard uh, Senator Ted Cruz talk about this, that's something else. All right. So, it's so past- as you guys heard Senator Ted Cruz, they are testing positive for coronavirus. And that's exactly what this picture that he put up first is. It's a bunch of teenagers or kids, probably between the ages of 10 and 17, that have tested positive for coronavirus and they're being put in these outdoor uh, holding uh, cages at the same facility with everyone else. Now, who knows when these kids first got the symptoms to the time where they got put into this facility, not only putting all of the other unaccompanied minors at risk to contract coronavirus, but also all the CBP officials, the volunteers, and also the lawyers that are coming in and talking to these minors. They're putting everyone at risk and they're not testing anybody. The Biden administration is not testing anyone. It's not vaccinating anyone. It's not doing anything when it comes to COVID. No six feet apart. They're barely giving them any uh, PPE. The only thing that they were giving is just one mask, most likely only one. Even though some of them have been there since the beginning of February when they actually opened up the Donna facility in Texas. That is what's going on at the border right now, folks. And it's crazy what the what the Biden administration is doing and not only doing, but failing, failing very, very badly the ability to do something about this and to actually acknowledge that there is indeed a crisis. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And again, if you guys missed the the press briefing with Senator Ted Cruz and other Republican senators while they were touring um, the facility, the Donna uh, in Donna, Texas, the Donna facility, then make sure you guys go and check it out. So let's go back to the report and see if there's any more information that we missed. And it says Border Patrol and Health uh, Human Services is struggling to deal with this. They can't get ahead of this without policy changes in D.C., according to Senator John Cornyn. Now, another thing that they said was that Border Patrol is pretty much having to deal with over 6,000 detainees almost every single day. 6,000. He is saying that's pretty much a caravan a day coming in, coming in, coming in. The smugglers and the coyotes are telling the people on the other side, you know what, I'll get you through. We'll just put you over to Border Patrol. Within a few hours, you're free to go. So more and more and more people are flooding the border, 6,000 a day, trying to be part of that, trying to get caught and then release, catch and release, catch and release. Now, I saw a report that President Trump in the near future is going to be heading to the border. President Trump is heading to the border because Biden will not do it. Biden is too afraid to go see the crisis that he created. So Trump is stepping up and he is going to the border himself. Now, if President Trump actually officially states that he will go to the border, will be there to to see what he has to say, as most likely he's going to tour 
with Border Patrol and he's going to give a press conference, most likely. So we will be there to, to, um, to bring you that full coverage. But let's see what happens. Now, both sides, both the liberal media and the conservative media are both talking about this. I just saw the other day that ABC News is actually calling this a crisis. And as you guys have probably seen in previous reports, at the press briefings, they're asking Jen, why won't Biden call this a crisis? This is a crisis. So both sides could agree now that one thing that they could agree on this is that what's happening at the border with Mexico, what's happening in Texas and other places is a crisis. But Biden continues to look the other way. But let us know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about the pictures that were released by Republicans and uh, Senator Ted Cruz? Let us know in the comments section below. Once again, if you guys missed the press conference with Ted Cruz and the other Republicans at the border, make sure you go and check it out. I'll pin it to the very top of the comments and we will see you guys very soon. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you subscribe and you click that bell. And also make sure you follow us on Twitter and you like us on Facebook. And also, if you have uh, Gab or Parlor, we're Golden State Times on there. So make sure you follow us. Thank you so much for joining us here at the newsroom. My name is Jen Goldstein, and I hope that you guys come and visit soon. Peace.